Hey everybody, this is Paul with Collector's Escape talking about science fiction books today, specifically Harry Harrison books. Now, I've been a fan of his books. We've been collecting them in our master library, but I recently bought a whole bunch. <laughs> One of my downfalls is if I'm at a bookstore, a used bookstore, and I see a whole bunch of books that I need or want, I just about can't keep myself from buying them. Now, I try to show control because you can buy the whole store if you're not careful. And uh, But uh, Harry Harrison was already in our collection. Now, Harry Harrison was born in 1925. He died in 2012. He's an old school classic author, a Pulp Fiction writer that we talk about. And he has many great books. One book or a movie from his book that... Uh, puts him in the annals of science fiction greatness would be the book entitled Make Room. That's the book you need to go look up and find because the book Make Room later became the structure and foundation for the movie Soil It Green with Charlton Heston. And just so you remember, Tuesday is Soil It Green Day. That's your trivia question to anybody. You'll see t-shirts that'll say Friday, Wednesday, every day of the week is Soiling Green Day. But from the movie, Tuesday is Soiling Green Day. Now let's move on to some of these Harry Harrison books. I like his books because they are all over the place. He doesn't mind having a lot of humor in his books. He makes sort of space opera stuff. And then just pure science fiction. Here's one of the first one, uh, War with the Robots. And this book uh, is from the 60s, but it reads a lot like Terminator, where robots are given all kinds of uh, jobs to do, jobs that humans don't want to do, technological events that make humans' lives better. They become really slaves to mankind but then we we know what happens to slave owners and so this is a book uh, very interesting um the technicolor time machine when i saw this one it was already in my card immediately because it was cool and and interesting and really what it is, is an example of sort of taking westworld and putting it into a tv show time travel for TV consumption of a reality show. Really cool theme rolls on. The Life Ship. Now, The Life Ship was written with Gordon R. Dixon. If you want to know more about Gordon R. Dixon, check one of our past videos that I did. We talk a lot about him and his contributions. And these authors quite often group together collaborated, helped one another for career purposes, just for creative purposes. This is uh, a survival on a ship in deep space in trouble. Humans and aliens together, how do they handle that? Uh, let's see here. The stainless steel rat gets drafted. This uh, was a series that he wrote, very famous series. Uh, Kind of, in, in many ways, uh, this is war, space war against a space alien, which I love space war books. Here's the stainless steel rat for president. Just another one that comes off of that uh, series of the stainless steel rat. Here's the Death World Trilogy. The Death World Trilogy... Um, Definitely um, war in space against aliens. Here's another Harry Harrison book called Homeworld. And if you get to see this picture, we get it in focus for you here. Um, this guy on the front, who's he kind of remind you of? If you were to squint your eyes and take a look at this guy, does he look a little bit like Han Solo? I would gander. 
I would submit that he kind of does. Very, very interesting. Uh, Star World. Another Harrison, uh, Harry Harrison book. Another um, war book. But incorporates Israel into it. Uh, the Planet of the Damned. The Planet of the Damned. Harry Harrison. Another fun book, uh, One Step from Earth. And uh, this is a time transport story. Being able to step out wherever you want in the blink of an eye. A Rebel in Time. This is a story based on uh, changing up of history. For certain, they change up England losing in World War II, but these are also uh, uh, ramifications or if history wasn't the way that we thought it was. Now, Harry Harrison didn't write all science fiction. He wrote some thriller, spy stuff. And when I ran across a book called Montezuma's Revenge, uh, instead of running to the bathroom, I, I ran to the checkout with this Harrison, Harry Harrison book. And uh, this is uh, spies and secret agencies and foreign countries. Um, and uh, an interesting step. Now, when I was buying, I found a few other books I wanted to share in closing. These were not Harry Harrison books, but uh, again, when I'm there buying, I grab stuff up. Uh, the Forever War, a cool vintage book. This is by Joe Haldeman. And it's again, it's a war book in the future, but the soldiers have to travel uh, far through space and time, they don't age. But when they come back from war, Earth is aged 1,200 years. And things are not the same. Uh, John Eric Holmes, it's sort of a space uh, dynasty <laughs> book. Larry Niven, who I've talked about before, has helped uh, do the outline on it. It's called Mordred. It's in the year 2419. Uh, it says, American guerrilla forces under the leadership of 20th century American Anthony Rogers <laughs> overthrew the hideous Han invaders. See, years later, the Han would come back an attack and there's uh, the America and the world could be in for total destruction. Very interesting book that I pull up. Uh, it's funny when you find these authors, all the things they've done, especially when you get to investigate them and you get to look deep even beyond the, the book you're reading or the title you're reading to other things they've done. And Harry Harrison has a great contribution uh, but certainly Soylent Green is uh, an amazing movie, and as is often the case, they are based on books. So check that out. And uh, we're going to be talking about comic books, I think, down the road here, and some collectible cards and more books. My name is Paul for Collector's Escape. Please subscribe, share with your friends, pass it around. We'd like to get more people to the channel and as always, look for our great t-shirts and other sundry things that help support what we do on this channel. My name is Paul. Have a great day.